Colum Killia is the parish fair for Arbury. It's been in existence for what we understand at least 100 years, uh, nearly 110 years now, um, but it was probably in existence before that under a different name. It's very much a community event. There was a gentleman called Mr Pemberton. He wrote some, some poetry, I think it was, about Lake Column. And he said the ethos of Lake Column was to meet, eat and compete. And I think that sums Lake Column up very nicely. The community meeting together. We'd have our big tea tent normally in Lowland North this year. And of course, lots of competitions, whether they be sports competitions or competitions for craft or art or whatever. The actual sports was uh, quite competitive. We had the old egg and spoon and the three-legged and uh, the wheelbarrow. That was the three, I think, the main three, anyhow. The school has a great part to play in our column, and today we've hosted the event because uh, of the bad weather, unfortunately, outside. But uh, we've managed to, to have a bit of a celebration and a commemoration today, so it's been good. Well, the pupils, for them, it's a big event because it's an annual event. Um, they've seen it many times, some of the older ones. They've also seen their families go through, you know, grandparents and beyond who, who came here. So uh, it is a real community event, pulling everybody together through the generations. So I came to Arbury School, so I've been involved in it since, um, obviously, I was a pupil here. And my dad and his parents um, were also involved. and great uncles and aunties etc so it is you know it has, it's something I've grown up with. I have connections and things to Lark Holland and Aubrey. loads of my family so they've been at Lark Holland for ages. To be honest I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it at first but I was very excited because I've always seen the princess do it. Once you start doing the speech and talking it's fine. I'm very proud that I'm doing it because my sister never did it or my cousins, so I was very proud, but I was really nervous as well. Um, but I'm really glad I got to do it. The Manx language has been more part of our column this year. Um, I think traditionally, um, when it started 1912, that kind of generation uh, weren't so keen on the language. But, but Arbury Parish itself, if you look at the Manx speakers over the years, they've all played a really important part in sustaining and promoting the language right up to the present day. But this year, because we wanted to make that link with the Column Killia 1500, their handwriting has been linked to La Column Killia in terms of Column Killia or the Manx language. So we have highlighted that as part of you know being in this uh, inter-Celtic in, you know, world that we, we live in, really. The school is the focal point of nearly everything that happens, isn't it, vis-a-vis -vis Lake Colum. And we're lucky we've got a parish school with a parish identity. And we're very lucky that we've got a lead team of people here that, for whom community is important too. And you've seen that this afternoon. It's traditional things which get lost over the years. And we're very fortunate that since 1912, the people of Arbury have wanted to keep this tradition going. And it was terribly emotional today because obviously these children, you know, were, were actually doing what I'd been doing. But there were still people here who knew me, who talked to me, who knew my family, which doesn't happen very often now. That Your family ties are quite cut off. But I do think these sort of true values, they seat you in a different place. I suppose it's a feeling of belonging, isn't it? It's, you know, I went away to university, came back because I wanted to come back to the Isle of Man to live. And I suppose it's, you know, it's that feeling of, of the belonging to a place and the community and hopefully people will still be here doing this in a hundred years time.